got diagnosed with an upper respiratory tract infection this morning, but I heard the trout were biting. <laughs> hey. All right, so I'm all loaded up. We're about to head to Turner Falls. Well, I am. Everybody else is gonna meet me here in a little bit. If I'm going on a longer trip, this stuff is gonna be like all in the cabinets and not just in these bags. But with a one night trip, it's easier to just kind of pack it in, pack it out. Okay, so my plan was to go scout out campsites and spots to fish and then on my way in this water is like super clear and uh i was like i'm gonna walk down and see if i see a fish i see one up in this little pocket um so i can't help myself i'm gonna go see if i can catch that fish I just had one come right up to it, check it out, turn around, turn around, come back, check it out, ditch it. First cast right there, one just swiped it and missed it. So I haven't had, I've tried out four or five different flies. This is the first one I've actually got any action on. And I think we'll be able to camp just right up here. So hopefully we can catch some fish right here. Free lure, I'll take that. So Bobby just rolled up. He's kind of, he's been dealing with some stuff for. Just some, uh, you know, sustenance to keep me going through the weekend. <laughs> just a little upper respiratory tract infection. So if, if y'all are wondering if Bobby's about it, he's about Bobby's it. He's about it. <laughs> the main thing was finding an area that wasn't super crowded with people. There's like the swimming area, and then there's the main falls area. Mm -hmm. There's a lot of people there. When you roll up to a spot and there's nobody fishing it, and I even talked to some people and they're like, no, they're not biting up there. There's not any trout up there. Right. So I rolled up and hooked up on a rainbow pretty quick. Have you fished these waters before? No, this is our first time here. Yeah, so. mine too, for sure. This is proven to be a difficult spot. It's probably why no one's up here, but it's kind of cool for that reason. Oh, it's super cool. We're I, said, seeing, I mean, we're seeing fish. Yeah. I saw I saw a number of rainbows come up. Yeah. So I, like, you know they're in here. I guess they haven't stocked since December. They're uh, maybe a little smarter than your usual stockies. I had one bite. Hey, let's go try this over here. They call this lovebird's nest. What are you throwing on? I'm going to throw on a white worm. Worm? With the, yeah, something underneath it. All right. If this doesn't pay off, we're gonna just go up to the big pools and see if we can rip them for a minute. Oh, these are pretty here. Woo, nice. Back to back. Oh, it's like going under the falls. Get down there, ball. I think it's got really cool colors.
Pretty bright little red line on them. Yeah, dude. These little bows are, are everywhere in this, this pool. They're just being picky. These are fish stuff for sure. No doubt in my mind. Hey. Oh boy. Let's go. Woo! Nice. Right as the rain's picking up. That's probably my best of the day. On the egg? On the egg. Good looking fish. Nice. <laughs> <laughs> Be very careful if you wade at Turner Falls though, because you will fall off the ledge. on the cast and I'm pulling it in they maybe I just need to run some action on that worm huh damn it had pretty good luck there for a minute yep they're kind of tearing them up but uh headed back to the campsite I don't know if you could tell but I fell in yeah Bobby fell my in my whole right side is soaked I've got water in my waders so I need to get dry but it was a great spot. We we missed a lot of fish and we caught some corn. So get the fire going and do a little bit more fishing at that first spot earlier. Well, we made it back to the site for the night. Uh, we got back a little bit before it got dark and threw a, threw a fly for 15 or 20 minutes. We always say that we're gonna like take some time before it gets dark to set up. And I cut off fishing and we never. And we always set up in the dark yeah. at the end of the day. We got on some fish when we got back. Ian caught a couple and I caught one down a little bit down river. Uh, also got caught in a tree and did a little climbing. So that was fun. <laughs> Didn't lose the fly though. Sure. But yeah. then I was, I was casting one spot right in front of me. Like, oh, I'm not getting anything here. So I started walking off, completely turned around, had a fish on, just got lucky there. That's uh, happened to me like three times today. Yeah. Where I'll just be pulling my line into recast and a fish will just jump on. Pod timing. <laughs> <laughs> like, like a little deep. Got a sunfish in February, which is kind of cool. Yeah. But pretty set up. About to get the fire rolling, go look for some wood. Hey guys, if you go camp, don't do this. You can see somebody else did this. We're not just cutting down a random tree. Yeah, it was already broke over, <laughs> falling. Look at it that way. Man, this is hard. <laughs> We're having a tough time with the fire. So we were originally making uh, hobo dinners, some beef, veggies, potatoes, all that stuff. So we got some uh, breakfast for dinner as backup. Uh, 
this is a, I don't know shit about cigars. This is a cigar that I've had in my glove box for about six months. Get this glove on, my fingers are so cold. This is uh this is our buddy Cade, dope video guy, audio guy. Oh stop it. It's actually our first time fly fishing together. And your second time fly fishing? My third time fly fishing, second time fly fishing with my own stuff. Yeah. Went up to JD Adams and got rigged up. Shout out to Tom. Thanks, Tom. It's kinda rained a little bit. <clears throat> So we're not in a big hurry. Bobby is in the tent still. But we got a pretty, pretty dope spot next to the river. They camp coffee. It's the best coffee, even if it's the worst coffee. True. You can quote me on that. <laughs> I wrote just for this fishing trip. It's called, give me all of your money. <laughs> Pressure, don't spill it. Uh, it's on my knee. <laughs> <laughs> ah. Oh, there's an Atlantic salmon up, up river. <laughs> Whole slew of them. Y'all follow me, I'll put you on them. <laughs> Smash that like button. You want me to put you on some fish? <laughs> I'll put you on some fish. Fish boy. Put you on some fish. some gill disease. This, this little trout has what's called nodular gill disease, I think it's called. It happens, I think the stock trout, whenever they are bred, they don't develop their gills properly. You'll get these protruding nodular pale colored gills that don't, they don't diffuse oxygen real well at all. him. <laughs> Dude, be careful. This is kind of slick right here. Yeah. Dude, these go. So yeah. Hey, let's go, baby.
go, boy. Oh! A lot of times, you just tough out some bad weather. You can just find yourselves being just the only, this is the busiest pool. It's a little cold, it's cold on the hands. That one on the egg. All these other ones have been black and white. Zebra midge. Sick. Sick. <laughs> Love it, dude. I probably have my egg set at like five feet, maybe five and a half feet. Black and white midge is probably seven feet. They've been hitting both, so. Good one. Here, I got you, dude. Keep it up. Let's freaking go, dude. So green. First trout at Turner Falls. I guess the last time they stocked was in December, which we're in February now. So these fish have been fished quite a bit for being stalkers. Yeah, yesterday, the weather was a little nicer and it was super crowded here until it's, the weather started to get bad and it was about to rain, then it really cleared out. But we talked to quite a few spin fisher and fly fishermen and all of them said they weren't having much luck. They all caught one or two, which I mean, can't complain. Today, with the weather being how it is, you know, kind of crappy, nobody's here and the fish are really biting. I like fishing here. Dude, you caught your first fish? I caught a fish. I can't feel my hands. It's a fun spot. It's just, uh, it's expensive. I think it was like 60 bucks for me to camp and fish. It's like a fly fishing country club. Well, it's a... Uh... Good trip, boys.